What's up, peeps? Welcome back to the channel. In case you guys have missed the last couple of days, we've been covering the Hassan versus Nick Merckx versus Dr. Disrespect beef or jokes or whatever you want to call it. The internet certainly on, on both sides of this and people just saying some absurd things in the comments and replies, again, on both sides. If you guys have not caught our TLDR on the situation, all of which was sparked by Nick Merckx making his statements, which made national news. I'm sure you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. In response to that, Dr. Disrespect actually took a stand for Nick Merckx demanding Call of Duty better apologize or reinstate his skin bundle, which they ultimately did not do. And then eventually Hassan goes on stream and reads off a commenter or a viewer's comments on the situation, which he stands by, uh, joking at Dr. Disrespect being more loyal to Nick Merckx than he was his own wife. <laughs> yes, he is more loyal to, he's more loyal to Nick Merckx having his skin than his own wife i know yes he's more loyal to that i mean he's also more loyal to shungite really bro up to up to shungite you know what i mean just, just add a little bit more shungite to that diet put it around la casa Okay, little pyramids, that sort of thing. To which we now received a response from Dr. Disrespect to Hassan saying that, you know, he would not say those things in person, calling Hassan a fat phony, and that if they were to say those things in person, there would obviously be repercussions. That's the issue I think we have as a society. Everyone's so concerned and worried about everything else. Just, just worry about yourself and what's close to you. Right? Everyone is so concerned about everyone else and everything else. Why? Just focus on you and what matters to you and what's close to you. Trust me, that will instill confidence because you don't have all this fog and all this concern, right? Because that just brings negative energy, man. It really is. <clears throat> like, uh... Like, who's this fat phony? Hassan? H Hassan? Hassan? H Hassan? Let's get it, baby. This fat phony? He's so concerned about everything. He's concerned about the two time and what it's like. These people, man. <laughs> this guy wouldn't. Li <laughs> Anyways, just don't. You just. You just don't worry about any anything. Right? I think it may be a little one of those right there. Except yourself and what's close to you and what matters to you. Right. By the way, that guy's. You talk about a phony. Holy shit, a fat phony. See, he wouldn't. He, see, that's the thing too. Like, he wouldn't say these type of things if if we're if we're standing next to each other. You know, he wouldn't. I think we're clear. Because you know, he knows there's repercussions. And then we covered yesterday Nick Merckx and his response on this, saying he had reached out to Hassan after he made those comments, which felt way too personal to bring that situation to light, especially on the anniversary between Doc and his wife and the relevance of bringing that joke up to the Nick Merckx situation had very little relevance. And so then we had Nick Merckx saying Hassan was dead to him, unfollowing him on all, all social medias and all platforms. People like Hassan and even the Jakes of the world and those 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 people they they get that this is how they do it, Chad. This is this is this is, this is their game. This is the game they play. And you know, I think up until that week, Hassan and I were you know we're pretty cool. And I know he's not going to lose any sleep over our relationship or anything, man. I'm you know I'm I'm not either. But after hearing him say what he said about Doc, that motherfucker's dead to me. I, I I DM'd him as soon as I heard it, and I said, you know what? Have your opinions. We can agree to disagree. You can say the things that you want to say, of course. But you're going to go up there and say that shit about Doc on his fucking an his anniversary, right? It's a guy's anniversary. And you're saying shit like that in front of all those people? You're just going to let that rip? All right. I mean, fuck. You know, I mean, listen, I'm not... You, you, you could say a million other things, but why the fuck would you say that? I don't understand. I mean, have, have a have a like an ounce of decency i don't know that was crazy i unfollowed him on everything i dm that fucking guy told me you're you're a prick for that and and that's that it is what it is like i said i'm sure he doesn't give a fuck about that and, and you know what i don't i don't really care too much either but i just wanted y'all to know that i saw that i think it's crazy and shout out to doc for 
keeping it a buck, man. And now finally, brought you here today, guys, and hopefully the end of this is Hassan's response and probably his final response on this, saying it was all just jokes was his final take and that this is all manufactured and fake and, and he's just here to have fun. And actually standing by the comments he made around Doc and cheating on his wife, bringing that situation back up for his defense of Nick Merckx with his battle with Call of Duty. Loyal to, he's more loyal to Nick Merckx having his skin than his own wife, I know. Like, uh, he, he got, this is, that's it. That's the reason why they're mad. Cause I, yeah. that's why they're mad. Oh boy. I mean, you, you think that's real? You think that's real anger? You think that's real outrage? Brother, nah. that's like the Force and CD is like, literally, it's like seeing Force and CD in your chat and like fucking foaming out of the mouth over it. You know what I mean? Listen. You know me. It's fake out. I'm just a big advocate for everybody getting their face. Um, but yeah. Funny thing is, when you said what you said, you were reading a chatter. I know, but that doesn't matter. Like, I mean, I, I, I will own it. Like, I'll stand by it. It's not, I'm not trying to like deflect away from that. That's something that I would say regardless. Just like a million people have said it regardless. Like, I, I don't think it's that serious at all. Um, I think it's like perfectly valid. So that's the drama, which is not... Here's the beautiful thing about like covering drama from Japan is that you immediately have like a very different assessment of the situation. Because last time I did this, last time I had this conversation with like XUC and Your Rage, I think it was about like anti-white racism or whatever. And people were like, oh, dude, like, I can't believe Hassan is so fucking racist. And um, Hassan is so racist against white people. And I was sitting there thinking like, I'm having a fucking incredible time. And... Why are we even having a conversation about this shit? Like it, it, it really, it really changes my, uh, my frame of reference whenever I uh, look at uh, this kind of stuff when I'm having a, a great time overall. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's so not real. It is uh, very fake. It's uh, manufactured. It's pointless. It's really fucking stupid. It's uh, you know Twitch streamers in America versus it's on Japan. Yeah. It's just. I'm here to have fun. The and I already gave you guys my take on all this drama yesterday. Um, you know, it just, it feels like it, the, there's extremes on both sides. Uh, me personally, I don't think I would have brought up the, the wife stuff. You know, that's just something, my own personal opinion. There's also people on the other side of that, and that's okay. I really don't give a frick. You can leave a comment down below how you feel on the situation, who you're supporting, because certainly all sides here have been under extreme pressure from the community for quite some time. A lot of hateful comments out there, but also a lot of gassing up comments on all three parties here, Hassan, Doc, and Nick Merckx. What do you guys think of the entire situation as the creators continue to go back and forth? And uh, well, they all continue to pull in some insane viewership around these times, and they're all doing really well for themselves, okay? So how do you guys feel? We got Doc responding to Hassan, Hassan responding to both of them, Nick Merckx giving his takes, blah -de dee blah -de da I'm sure we'll be back here tomorrow breaking down other responses as well as some other crazy stories. Till next time, take care of yourselves. I'll see you back here sometime soon.